Indeed we do. Holy fuck nuts. All nice right. little gauntlet action at the end. Sparks trying to force the spawn frag. And uh, take a look at some accuracy of 46% rail for Vin, but to be honest, uh, he didn't really use it as much as Sparks. We've seen yet another impressive picked up for Sparks. Let's go take a look at that number. Six impressives for Sparks and only four for Vin. All right, so we, we have we have the final we have the final list here, guys. All right, well, All right. I hope Grease is coming back. If okay, there you are. We're good. We're good. And we're gonna watch Ray out of the gate. He starts near the LG, heads straight for Mega, and uh, he's gonna try to shard up before he drops in for that yellow. That's actually really good play. That extra shard um, bonus can really help you in this uh, first battle, which is about to unfold. Sparks back and off to the rail and yellow armor. So it's sort of a standard start, and here comes the first battle at red armor, as uh, is usually the case now. Sparks opting to stay down rather than go up and try to get even uh, height advantage here for, for Ray. Ray, though, not able to land the rockets as cleanly as he'd like, and Sparks is able to get that armor and keep him in pretty good shape for this mega health grab. Ray doesn't have a light, uh, excuse me, a uh, railgun. So that fight definitely in Sparks' favor. And uh, Ray will have to go back to the drawing board. Hmm. Calling T7 against Sparks is a ballsy choice, especially when your name is All Cyan. Little departure from his normal color scheme here, but one on zero. Right now, Sparks is heading through teleport. Nope. Order. Grabbing a rail as Ray's going to be dancing the pillars a little bit. His mouse is looking a little flicky. Dropping some packets here. Actually, I think you were. <laughs> as, uh, as you were saying that, lies. you were kind of cutting in and out on the vent. I'm not quite sure what's up. Either way, uh, it seems to be fine now. Now, Sparks, on the other hand, stacking up amazingly well. Has that full mega and 150 armor. He's kind of pushing in, just tiptoeing around right armor. He's trying to get the drop. And nothing's going to happen here. Ray's nowhere to be found. Trying to get a railgun shot. It's a little bit wide. And that means that uh, Ray pretty much is in, in bad shape here because as Sparks... Oh, look at this aggressive play by Sparks. Rounding the corner and has Ray down to, well, one health as Sparks finally finishes him off. But um, really nice play. Ray was trying to uh, get in on that lane and uh, probably was going to try to set up for a shot. And Sparks went uh, past it maybe, but Sparks was just much quicker than I think Ray was anticipating. And was able to shut him down, so... Uh, only about two two minutes, two minutes, 20 seconds in, so plenty of time for Ray to turn things around, but Sparks right now has so much momentum in his favor. That's a big rocket. That might be the game changer that Ray's looking for, Jahar. Indeed, and... Uh Hirsham is still looking for Ray to make a way into this, and Sparks is able to get enough time to grab Mega and YA without much against them, but that is a free red armor for Ray. He's at 100 health, but he's got a full 150 stack on armor. That's yellow and red for him. Mega and yellow for Sparks right now, so fairly evenly stacked weapons-wise. Ray just picked up LG and Rocket Launcher Railgun as well. Sparks looking just as well. Railgun accuracy for Sparks so far here has only been 28%, so he's got to pick that up a little bit, probably slowing down his score a little bit here, but Ray's still looking for a good way to get initial damage. There's the drop-in, nice but that drop-in LG was not the ideal mm. weapon for that, and he wasn't able to get the first bit of damage in, not significantly. So by the time he landed, Ray was already taking a lot of LG up the bum. Yeah, the initial start of that LG fight was okay for Ray, but it really kind of fell yeah. apart as Sparks um, started coming down the stairs. And at that point, you know, Sparks was still able to hang on to. He had he had some choices. Um, he wow, he could fall off. Oh shit! Nice shot there. Um, he could you know fall off and basically make force Ray to peer out over the edge or switch weapons. Um, and they also had some other options, basically just keep going strong uh, into him, or he could dance around the stairs, forcing Ray behind the pillar. I mean, there were a lot of really great choices for Sparks. Uh, nice, um, nice tactical move there. So, Sparks able to pick up his seventh frag in Ray. Well, I, I, I don't see anything in Ray's play that's telling me that he'll be able to topple the current king. And just to call it out, folks, Sparks 
Oh, nice. Nice delay on that rocket. Sparks is defending his crown for the fourth time. Or fifth time, I guess, technically. He's, he's one at four. Hmm. A little too bad that Fleischer was a little late uh, in the sign-up. Otherwise, we get to see the match that we did not get to see on Saturday. But halfway through, Sparks looking very strong on here. Ray finally get it, getting red armor. But here's the thing. Sparks has not really been controlling the entire map here. Ray's been able to do enough damage to him where Sparks has to back off from some, some items or otherwise leave them up when the timing just doesn't jive with Sparks' run here. But that aside, Sparks is the king of T7. And so far tonight, nobody's been able to take him on it. And Ray, I don't know if this was a ballsy choice on him, uh, or maybe just a foolish one. Look at that listen before going to the teleporter. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's those little nuances that really up your game. And Sparks is demonstrating quite well how, when you put all those things together, how strong you can play, so... 8 to 1. Ray will again get away with the red armor, but that doesn't, like you said, that doesn't really seem to bother Sparks too much. He's able to usually get about 150 armor before he starts to fight anyway using the yellows, and uh, and he's been able to control the mega. I think that, that uh, Sparks is just comfortable with, you know, the semi-map dominance, although here he's caught. This is interesting. Hmm, how will he get out of here? Will, will Ray let him out? Yeah. Ray's gonna let him out. Sparks is gonna back off, uh, and actually Ray is able to get red. Now this is the critical shifting point. Seven frags to make up. Big rocket by Sparks. Nice dodging using the pillar, Ooh. but Ray will finally put him down. But here's the big thing: Ray lost all of his armor. So the next big play is gonna be for red, but it's gonna be kind of even. Oh, that's a huge nade. We're gonna see a double kill. which does reset things a little bit. It gives Ray a way back into the map, but unless his Mega can be significant. Oh, nice rocket pop up there, but where's the follow-up? Ray's still in the corner. He's gonna back out of there with only 82 health. Red armor, it, right after that Mega health grab, that was really, really tricky. He was able to get a rocket in, but not moving over for red armor immediately. Tricky choice there, and that's gonna be giving Sparks that as well. So Ray, Lucky. not quite with enough timing to take any items off of the spawn even after that mutual frag so what could have been a decisive moment for him has slipped away yeah and something really critical is that the damage that sparks suffered at the red armor pickup was after the grab i mean or excuse me before the grab so sparks was able to walk away with the full 100 armor so you know basically i mean ray uh, i think at at this point you know, we can probably call this but it's nice to see that Ray, Ray was able to at least turn the tables uh, slightly as, uh, as we wind this one down. Sparks with a 27% rail. A lot of use of it. Although we... Ooh, oh, oh, oops. Ray kind of shot himself in the face there. Um, but we have seen a lot more rocket play from Sparks, which I really like to see. Impressive. But the railgun, always a good standby. Up to 34% there, yeah. All right, well, this match is for all intents and purposes over, but Ray really did make a really great standing here. And actually, uh, knowing Ray's capabilities here, it's actually more telling to see that, okay, Sparks has not been slouching uh, when he's been away from this. And even though right. he didn't get to a point where he was able to go against Ray very often uh, on Saturday or even get very f far past, like, the second or third round, um, Sparks is no slouch. And when it comes to King, it, King of the Hill, at least, he's... Uh, Definitely a good contender for it. Oh, oh wow. Nice finish up there. We got about a minute LG left. LG in the butt. 28% yeah, LG. Yeah, nothing too impressive there. Ray, on the other hand, his accuracy. What the hell? I swear <laughs> I've got the. Oh, there. I got the same collection of dead pixels in my monitor because I'm seeing Ray at 0% railgun accuracy. Jahar? Oh wow, holy shit. We both have broken monitors. Yeah. 
That needs to stop happening.